Hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be going on an exit. Hey guys, if you were paying attention in my last video, you would realize that there was no drone shots. And the reason is my drone is completely destroyed. The dog devoured the drone. I left it uh let me say partially out of reach i didn't expect him to reach it where it was and i came back from church and this is the result all the all the the blades are bitten up the camera module is completely bitten out the front of the drone so you know it's basically unusable it's unusable and that was on the backdrop of getting some new accessories so you know totally devastated and surprisingly i did not hit him for it so i was able to keep my cool in all of it so yeah i'm without a drone now if you want to sponsor the channel if you like the videos you can you know help me you can buy a drone buy a drone for me it's the dj mini 2 if you want the mini 3 or the, the you know the new ones for me well that would be good <laughs> but yeah this is the drone um or what used to be the drone hey how are you doing hey so i'm headed to my workplace actually the headquarter of my workplace and um then i'll be going to the car wash fair enough you know when you're right. older and you care for your kid you um so the word i want to share with you today um well so i saw a quote the other day that says uh but listen to many voices, but speak your own. Um, you know, oftentimes we gather knowledge from various um, sources, and sometimes we start to to sound like people, which I don't think that's the purpose of research, but to to gather as much information as possible and then find your own voice. Don't be a reflector of other people's thoughts. Um, of course. None of us are 100% original, but there must be something that you can say. You have a voice of your own. You have an opinion. And this goes across many aspects of life. For me, it's, you know, in terms of preaching, um, you know, I, I used to listen to a lot of different pastors. And until I de develop my, my unique style. And so you have a unique, a, a unique purpose. A, a unique point of view, a unique voice, uh, a unique message that if you try to be other people, the world would have missed out on you, you know, the, the, the purpose and the, the uniqueness of you that God created you to be, right? So we have to be, we have to be careful not to be reflected, but try and be authentic. If you are a writer, don't be another Stephen King, be you. If you are a musician, don't be another Bounty. Don't be another Michael Jackson. Be another you. If you are a pastor, don't be another Glenn Samuels. Don't be another another C.D. Brooks. Don't be another T.D. Jakes. Be another you with your unique talents. So, always remember to listen to many voices, but speak your own. Very All right, just coming from Kawash. Car is nice and clean. Um, heading by my colleague. Uh, the guys did an amazing job. Well, the guy did an amazing job with the with the car. I think my tip because he deserves it. The day was very sunny earlier, but as you can see in the background, it's kind of cloudy. I don't think there'll be any rain. The rain usually come from that side. Hey, by the way, I'm selling this car. My friend is farm, a lot of cane, jelly, banana are planted. So I want two jelly. I think I'm gonna chop a cane. I think I'm gonna get that bunch. Right. I don't know any folks, I don't know if this one is the right one. Hopefully, sweet.
and that's you know the state of the world and how we should interpret it and operate in it. There's a lot of talk about uh, create reset, new world order, stuff like that. And the great reset is essentially um, coming out of the World Economic Forum. And one of the leaders, Cla Klaus Schwab or something like that, said that you will own nothing and be happy. I want to share a scripture. Uh, it says, love not the world, nor the things of the world. Any man loves the world or the things of the world. The love of the Father is not in him. You know, this world will pass away soon. There will be a really new world order. And that one will be ushered in by Jesus Christ. And he says, in my Father's house are many mansions. So, you know, you might not have a house or a mansion in this world. But if you are saved, Jesus promised that you will have that and more. He says, I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So, love not the world or the things of the world, but love God. And he will give you the things that you need. Bible says, young man, I call you because you are strong. And I'll you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that's what I said. Amen. To the water. Amen. 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 There's no better time to give your life to Jesus than now. Amen. If you are young, don't believe you are too young. If you are old, you are old enough. Now is the time. We live in a very awesome, serious and even dangerous time. Uh, the death is not any respect to our persons. Neither is the devil. Are these wicked men nowadays who are killing like there's no tomorrow. Uh, we have to give thanks for every day that we have above ground and we have to make our calling and election sure. So I encourage you to keep on keeping on. And if you are not yet on, Get on before it is too late. Amen. 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 So I want to give God thanks for this one precious soul. Yes. Uh, it's one, but one, one cocoa. Full, full basket. In the basket. Amen. While we're not full in the basket, we are filling up the kingdom. Yes. We know that one soul is precious in the sight, in the sight of, God. of God. Angels are rejoicing. Amen. God is rejoicing. You and I are rejoicing, and I know the young man is very happy. Amen. Amen. So thank you. God bless you. Pray for him. Pray for each other. And let us all just continue to be faithful to the end. Because he says, He that remains faithful to the end, the same shall be saved. Which number you have? Yeah. It is an easy way of getting through. America. Yeah. Um, what I would say though, Ella Gray. Yeah, man, Ella Gray is bad for food. Man. Hi, everybody. Good long day. Good. Good Welcome you know. back um, today. I'll be um, going to throw some line. Basically, soul of fishing. Um, yeah. Just home. You know, thinking about a lot and just you know thought to go and clear my mind. Just got some conch at the fishing village. Um they say it's good for bait. This is the spot. I've been here before. Um in a previous video with my dog uh frightened. Um this was where it happened. Right over there in particular. Yeah, it was crazy. It was fun. Just here to just chill, clear my mind, you know, enjoy nature, and just have a little peace. Thank 
Oh, I'm a bit honest with you, folks. This part is lame. Okay. I only felt one picking one time. I don't know if the pace is not so good, but it's not so good. Time tonight, you have some roadblocks, maybe just nature, just interacting with nature. You get answers, you disclose everything in general. If God just wants you alone by yourself, speak to you through something, He's always speaking. Um, the problem is, we are often distracted by, by the noise. The noise of the world, the noise of our food, the noise of life. And sometimes we have to just sit back and realize that life is just about living because the truth is if, if I should die, you should die. Everything that you worry about would not matter. You get what I'm saying? All of a sudden, it would have no clearing up on anything concerning you. Now we just have to just take life as it is, you know, enjoy the moment and just find the positive, find the good in everything. Hey Janko. Hey Janko brother. Janko. After how I'm fishing, I think I give up. <laughs> if the water was clear, I would have probably gone for a dive. But this water is uh, not clear at all. I was trying to do a seagull call just now. <laughs> hey! After a long day, I was very hungry. So I decided to stop at KFC, grab myself a meal deal, and deal with it. Bread, ribs, fries, biscuit, sweet corn, yum. <laughs> 